एक लेसन फॉर वर्किंग विथ एक्सेल डेटा टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा इन एक्सेल थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा कैन बी एंटर नेमली न्यूमरिक टेक्स एंड फॉर्मूला एनी टाइप ऑफ डेटा आर और कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू डेटा टाइप कैन बी यूज इन अ वर्क सीट दैट इज सेल वैल्यूज आर द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फॉर्मूलास टेक्स एंड नंबर्स डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन इन एक्सेल टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एक्सेल इज इंटरप्रिटेड डेटा एज नंबर्स और टैक्स न्यूमरिक डेटा न्यूमरिक डेटा इंक्लूड्स नंबर्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन एंड स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स दैट इज प्लस साइन माइनस साइन इज इक्वल टू और डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सिंबल्स आ दे रही ओके सो यू कैन टाइप इन योर एक्सेल द नंबर्स और यू कैन डू योर कैलकुलेशन सी द चार्ट इज गिवन यर different characters and different interpreters are there here leading plus that is beginning of a formula or ignore plus sign if followed followed by numbers okay same way the backslash minus sign or leading zero see the date and the result is given here then alphabetic uh, alpha numeric or text data alpha numeric or text data then after finishing this thing how you can select a cell when you do a table how you can select a cell that is one particular cell or full table then you can do your formatting work that is uh, in a formatting work means you can select the full range you can delete the data you can cut the data or copy the data okay how you can copy the data or how you can cut the data or how you can move from one place to another by selecting i will show you then moving the data and how you can insert row how you can insert row and how you can insert column when you are preparing a table in middle when you have finished your table when you are preparing and you have finished your table and you forgot to type something and after some time you think that you want to insert one more column between the table you can insert a table or insert a column or insert a row then an alternate method of inserting cell there are two to three method how you can insert a column that is row and column then how you can delete your row and column see in your book it is given drag and select the column or a row click on the home tab delete option will be in the cell group right click on the mouse uh, pop up menu appears then press your delete okay then resizing your column you can make your column size big or small then undo and redo command undo and redo command okay then there are answers for you plus i will show you how to prepare your table now just minimize see your excel i will open so this is your excel sheet excel sheet you can get just uh, look in your book uh, one table is given that i will type the mark sheet is given in your table that is name name first column then uh, english then right name that is as i am saying down s u suruchi bala
okay so i have prepared one table that is i have prepared one mark sheet now after typing after typing here now i want to find the total now to find the total in excel see when you want to find total there are many students only i have typed only three students now i want to find the total so how you can find the total just place your uh, mouse pointer there that is active cell first when you are writing any formula when you are writing any formula remember that is equal to sign is very important so place is equal to sign okay place is equal to sign write the cell address of first number that is where 45 is where this 45 is you have to write the cell address of first number that is column address and row name column and row name so how you can give that is in column b in column b it is there okay you can see here b b column so you can write here b then which uh, number 2 okay so b2 you can here b and 2 that is column b and row 2 then put semicolon press your shift key and press semicolon and write the cell address of last number last number is 67 here 67 so f2 f2 okay then enter so this is there is some mistake in the formula when when i type okay what is there you have not put uh, a bracket open your bracket and close your bracket and enter okay okay very good okay after writing is after putting is equal to sign you have to write sum s u m sum okay after is equal to write sum open your bracket b2 cell address of the first number and the cell address of the last number and close your bracket and press enter so your total is 333 now after doing one total one total no need to write the formula for rest all of the other thing what you have to do is just place your cursor on the first answer bring a mouse pointer down you can see here one box is there you can see one small box here press your plus your mouse pointer there press your mouse and drag down okay so your answer is come automatically understood clear okay so this is how you can add formula then how you can cut and copy and paste how you can select your particular paragraph or particular cell now i i want to bring this sam down here that is how i can copy and paste so i want this sam down so select your cell see here how you can select just bring a mouse pointer first click place your mouse pointer at the center of your cell press your mouse pointer your left mouse button and take in front okay okay i have selected copy karo copy karo you can see that line is uh, you can see blinking line means it is right then place your mouse pointer down here where you want then click on paste okay see this is how you can copy and paste that line will remain there as well as after you have paste down press your escape key that blinking line will be removed from there okay so i have copied copy means that particular first line this line will remain in its place then you can place down wherever you want same way i want to shift this full table so select select the full table select the full table I want to remove from here. I want to bring at the center. So select the full table, cut, 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 cut. Click on cut. Where you want to place? I want to place from this column. Okay. Click on place. Okay. See here. You can move the full table. Understood? Copy and paste. Cut and paste. Okay. That by mistake it is here. I want a in its original place. So what I will do? Here undo command is there. 
undo means the last action after cutting you have not done anything you have not done anything so just press your undo key or press control plus z from your keyboard that table will be moved from to its original place see here okay understood you can see it is gone to its original place so this is how you can move your table or one particular cell one particular column you can move here now after doing this much i forgot to write one uh, subject here i forgot to write uh, suppose uh, uh, history or geography so i want to add one column here so what you do is just in the name of cell address here uh, column address press your mouse left uh, right click right click of your mouse insert so your cell is inserted here same way when you want uh, the row right click what you want here insert your cell is inserted okay select your full table select your full table go in format and give border for your table all border you can see the line so this is how you can copy paste copy paste insert a column insert a row then give space see when you want to make make your column bigger see here bring a mouse pointer to the name of the cell address uh, cell press your mouse and you can make your cell b you can make your cell small also that depend on how you want make big or small same way column or row also you can make it big or small what it now by mistake this column and this row is here and you don't want what you do is just right click on the name of the column uh, header then delete okay that column will or that row will be deleted got yes or no so this is how you can delete your column and delete your row understood understood then later on whatever problem you have we will discuss later so first you have to practice this how you can add how you can add numbers and how you can uh, find the total and how you can add a column how you can add a row okay student clear everybody So this is how you can do your work in your Excel. Understood or not? Okay.